بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ویلکم بیک ان ٹائم وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا ریولیشن اکارڈنگ ٹو دا کرونالوجی آف دیئر ریولیشن اپان دا پرافٹ ٹوڈے وی ول فوکس آن سورہ ٹوینٹی Surah 21 that was revealed upon the Prophet was Surah Al-Akhlas which is 114th Surah of the Quran or the last Surah of the Quran. Surah 22 that was revealed upon the Prophet is Surah 112 in the traditionally arranged Quran. It is Surah Al-Akhlas which means oneness of God. Surah 23 that was revealed upon the Prophet is Surah Al-Najm which is 53rd surah in the traditionally arranged Quran it means a star and the 24th surah that was revealed upon the prophet is surah abasa and it means he frowned and it has 42 ayahs surah nas is reminding people that the only one whose guidance really matters in this life is one God who alone knows everything about his creation, about the nature of the creation, and about the potential and the capacities of the creation. So he should always be followed. And there are situations where people will try to take people away from the right path, but if one focus is clear, one would not find a deviation from the true path. Surah Ikhlas, which has four ayahs, focuses again on the uniqueness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unique. No one can compare Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with anyone. And He is the one who is the creator and no one can compare Him with His creation. Surah Al-Najm has 63 ayahs and it means a star and it basically talks about the Mi'raj or the ascension of the Prophet ﷺ to heaven where he witnessed certain mystical realities that are beyond the capacities and beyond the abilities of an ordinary human being and where he was given the glad tiding that he indeed is the one who upon whose uh, uh, hands the divine guidance will be finalized and will be completed. And... Uh, It basically uh, also reminds uh, uh, the believers that there is a continuity of the divine guidance and that the Prophet ﷺ is the final link in the divine guidance that was given to humanity. The Abasa, which means he pre-frowned upon, means every human being deserves dignity, No one should be left behind. And when it comes to sharing the message, when it comes to delivering the message, when it comes to giving the guidance, every human being should be treated equally and should be given the due respect that he or she as a human being deserves. أقول قول هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel.